Aaron's block him. We're stranded at the airport for the next two days, or probably more. After this, what happens when you travel around the world? Here we are. We just come off of, of two back-to-back -back lockdowns. Two episodes back-to-back. -back. We had a shoot today. Barely even stand up at this point. And, uh, you know, we love doing what we do, but it does take a toll sometimes, especially when you're doing back-to-back -back like this. We get all of our stuff, all of our luggage, and we just got here to the airport. We go in there, and they canceled our flight. They told us that another flight to Vegas does not come back or it doesn't fly out until Monday. It's Saturday right now. That's two more days. So right now we're... You ever seen that movie Planes, Trains, and Automobiles? Or it... Yeah. So at this point, this just goes to show you when you travel around the world, things don't always go smooth. This is where sleepwalking comes in handy. So to give you an update on our... Uh, canceled flight after sitting at that counter for two hours and going to different people we finally booked another airlines uh, I guess I can't show the airlines airlines you never want to take yeah. ever is what airlines we can't uh, say it, uh, it's the country we live in except use the lose the A at the end so right now we're waiting for our van to pick us up and bring us over to our hotel and which been, uh, has not come and I plan on the rate we're going right now it won't ever come. I guarantee I'll sit here. You can keep rolling her. I bet that time code will show a full hour. <laughs> Every single hotel will come, but this is the one we're going. You know when it's one of those days and you wake up and you know the day is going to be horrible? It's one of those days. I knew Wait, that. it's not just the day. We had it last night with Zach getting the uh, laundry. Now it goes straight to today. And then you hear the lady on the intercom and just sounds so happy. It sounds like a horrible disembodied voice. <laughs> oh my god, kill me. <laughs> Jesus. That's a... What? I'm oh, tired. Where you are looking. So again, this is the kind of stuff that you travel all over the world. This is the kind of hurdles that you uh, sometimes can't jump. Quality in. Where in the hell is our hotel, dude? And Aaron's still filming right come. now. I guarantee it will never come. Don't know how you do it. Don't know how you do it. Don't. Okay, so they gave us hotel vouchers for the Sheraton Suites, which we are at, which looks very lovely. So we waited about a half an hour for our shuttle. Finally got here. It was very packed. We got here. We went and checked in. But now they said that they're fully booked. So now they said that we have to go to another hotel, which is somewhere right across, across the parking lot or something, and we have to walk there. Sounds like a good night. It continues. <laughs> it doesn't end. When it gets bad, it gets worse. That one looks sold out too. It's X like, all right, Nick, I'm going to get you back. Rush in there and, and beat everybody to the punch. But the shuttle the that we were on just went to the <laughs> new hotel they gave us our vouchers for. Where so, everybody's packed in that van over there, and now we're going to be last in line. The best part is that uh, Zach was like, what else could go wrong? <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Well, I remember we went to the hotel and we just got dropped off. I told Nick to take the hotel vouchers and get inside the hotel to hurry and get in front of all the people in front of the bus. Well, we went to the wrong hotel and those are all the people that were on the bus. No, it wasn't the wrong hotel. The hotel was sold out, so we had to run over here and go to this hotel. So now we're going to wait line. Hopefully it's not sold out. Well, if it was a hotel that was sold out, it's the wrong hotel. Yeah, I guess so. So, yeah. So whose fault's hotel. that? The airlines? Airlines, the shuttle bus. Why? Aaron's blog game. We finally made it home from Philadelphia after that mess of traveling. It's 10 a.m. Sunday morning. Now, time to go sleep for a couple days. Peace.